Now, uh, under Jonathan, the same people who are running this administration uh, protested against the removal of subsidy. And they mentioned what would happen if that had happened that period. And those things are happening now under them. Are you saying that they don't know that this will happen? Because they sound that way. They give the people the reason to believe that they were surprised that this was the outcome of what they were doing. Is it that they don't know that people like the central bank governor and the minister for finance, that they are totally ignorant of what is going to happen with these policies or that they wanted it to happen and they are now promising Nigerians that good days are coming? Do you believe them? The truth is that they don't know anything. They just don't know anything. So uh, when you say that one, you begin to imagine as if they know some and they don't know some. They don't know anything. Look at the security. They are still taking our citizens in hundreds, children, in a school. It, it's not a novel thing. It has lasted for more than 10 years. The Boko Haram aspect of terrorism started in Nigeria in 2009. That's 15 years. So these things are predictable. So it's not rocket science anymore. Yet they cannot stop it. So what do they know? That's security. Now, economics. You want to tell me? Then how did I know that when you remove it, your economy will collapse? How did I know? I knew it because when you go to farm to plant a seed, there is a gestation period before it starts yielding fruit. What will you be eating between the time of planting and the time of harvest? It's not rocket science. So if you remove subsidy and the economy is distressed, what will be holding the economy before the benefit that you intended, removing that subsidy, what will be holding it before it starts yielding fruit? Nothing. Nothing. Now, if you have diversified your economy that you're not depending on oil alone, you will now say, I will use these exports to hold the economy. But you don't have it. So what happened is that the first two, three months, like I told them, all the savings Nigerians had, they will use it to invest in oil. Saying, okay, let's have patience. Let's have patience. Now, after like that six months and they have exhausted their savings and it's not yielding any fruit. That is why they are running around, ransacking every way house, ransacking any truck on their way because they are hungry. And a hungry man is an angry man. So this government has run out of ideas. If I were in their shoes and immediately they did not listen to me not to remove subsidy. Immediately they did not listen to me not to damage Naira. I told them to resign because I knew they were not going to 